हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल टुडे आई हैव ब्रॉट अ डिफरेंट टॉपिक फॉर ओनली फॉर द स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ क्लास ट्वेल्थ हु वांट्स टू डू आईआईटी और जेईई एग्जाम आफ्टर ट्वेल्थ सो द टॉपिक इज फाइव मिथ्स टू बी अनकवर्ड अबाउट आईआईटी जेईई एग्जाम वट इज द फुल फॉर्म ऑफ जेई दैट इज ज्वाइंट एंट्रेंस एग्जाम it's a national level engineering entrance exam uh in this engineering aspirants will know very common myths about jee main and jee advanced entrance exams this will help you in clearing up some of the common myths about the exam see every engineering aspirant wants to take admission in indian institutes of technology after clearing both the phases during the preparation periods the aspirants came ac- across many suggestions and tr- strategies by almost every person some of these suggestions are very beneficial but some of them merely are the myths these myths appear very true to you but these myths actually have nothing to do with the jee preparation so the first myth is about uh, the percentage you score in board exams that is for 12th during the preparation of iit jee exam some students used to start considering the good percentage in board do not imply that the candidate will also score good in jee exam this really is totally hypothetical as 11th and 12th are the base of the preparation of jee main main and advance if a candidate can't be able to score good in his or her then there are very few chances that he or she could be even able to crack the jee main exam every candidate must focus on their boards along with the iit jee exam now the second is how many hours you should study if a candidate is not studying more than 12 hours a day then he or she can't be able to crack the jee exam these type of statements are very common in the daily life of the students preparing for these exams but that does not mean that a candidate need not to study at all a candidate has to study very hard to crack the exam a routine study of 4 to 8 hours is sufficient enough to crack jee main or advance third myth is about the volume of study material more you study more easily you can qualify the exam it's a theory which is adopted by most of the students during their preparation for jee main and advance these types of practices are totally inappropriate for the exam candidates need not to study the every study every book available but one or two standard books are sufficient for the preparation as more books will create more confusion and confusion is not good for jee then the fourth are myth is only online offline stuff is not useful being a student of 21st century one should not study like the earlier phases of civilization means from the books only though books are the best material to study with but almost every student has a very good tool to study from internet video lectures etc online t- test series chapter notes previous year question papers and toppers interviews help a student or aspirant in the preparation of je main and advanced the stuff available online not only helps a candidate in the preparation but it also motivates a candidate help them in preparing their study plan in testing their preparation level understanding the paper pattern environment and in revising all the topics now the fifth myth is good scorer in jee means does not imply good scorer in advanced sometimes it is considered that the candidate who score well in jee main will also score well in the jee advanced as well but that really is a very silly myth 
the paper pattern of both the exam is totally different moreover in jee main there is only one exam but in jee advanced there are two papers in jee main percentage on in 12th board are taken into consideration whereas in jee advanced there is no such consideration the two exams are totally different so it simply means that the good scorer in jee main does not imply a good scorer in jee advanced while preparing for the exams like iit jee every candidate should always try to avoid such type of myths these myths distract a candidate from his or her studies besides focusing on these myths or rumors every student must focus on the studies and try to do enough hard work to realize his or her dream i hope you understood best of luck to you and if you like the video please like comment and share thank you